Off of this workout, you're going to need your waist height surface and a set of weights. Yoga bar. Let's do this thing. Find that opening breath. Center up your mat. So a lot of times people think this workout is super easy and we always underestimate it, but it's fire. <laughs> a lot of strength moves in it. Last one here. Find um, Take your left hand, take, wrap it around your right wrist, bump your hips over to the right, and then hinge forward to the left. Extending out of your knee. Inhale. Exhale, coming up, other side. Holding the other wrist now. Feel the stretch of the back of the thighs. Keep breathing. All right, straight leg cross rotation. Stretch. Up and over, other side. All right, drop your tailbone to the left. Reaching the right toe, pointed toe. Up and over, other side. Okay, back to center. Figure four, last stretch before we get into that work. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Driving the tailbone back, other side, same thing. Inhale, exhale, all right, here we go. Second, wide second, knees tracking second toe, shoulders up and back. You're gonna drop your left knee down into a lunge and then right. So you're just staying in that wide second, alternating, bringing a knee in, and then coming back open to wide second. All right, keep it going. You can get a little lower here if you want. You can add an arms, or keeping them up overhead, sinking nice and low here, hugging in that core, keeping your chest right, Eight more. Okay, you're doing great. Stay with me. Four, three, two, and then one. Hold it in center. Keep holding in that white shirt. From here, little tiny hops. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Music got real loud. Stop landing, spread the toes, kick it up. Now let's go, full range is your modifier right here. All right, keep going. Eight more hops, let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold. Inhale, get on your toes. Little tiny pulse down. Small movement, creating strength in the body. Hugging that beach ball up overhead. Sinking down a little lower. Okay, you got it. Eight more. Seven, six, five. Back to those hops. Here we go. Let's go. Hop. Full range is your modify here. Ten more. Give it your all. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Heart coming down, hands on the mat. Back of the head to the ceiling. Lifting your kneecaps, pressing into your heels. You got a minute hold here in this plank. Hug in the core. This. Come on. Keep breathing. Right there with you. We're going to grab our weights here in a second. A few more seconds hold here. Just breathe. You got this, three, two, one. Grab your weight. Nice work. Feet coming.
coming together, center of your mat. Knees over ankle, hug your core. Shoulders up and back, arms coming out to wide diagonal. From here, you're just circling your arms. So think about reaching, dropping your booty down nice and low like you're gonna go sit in a chair and you can't quite reach it. Keep circling, come on. Little tiny circle, eight more here. Hugging the core, pull your pelvic floor up and in. Four, three, now reverse arm circles. Softening your neck, down your shoulders. Don't let this get into your neck muscles. Soften your neck. Sink down lower in that tight chair. Squat, you got it, come on. Circle. We can do hard things, we got this. Come on, eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And coming up, shoulders over your hips. From here, C rotations, right and center. But you're bringing one underneath. One arm underneath, alternating that C rotation, but switching the arms. So you're doing C rotation and crisscrossing those arms. Okay, overlap under. Hugging the core, get on your toes here if you want to make this spicy. Shoulders staying over the hips, engaging that tuck. Okay, come on, eight more. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Hinge forward, still staying in the toe mounds? Yes. Bring the weights into the shoulders, kick back, triceps. So you're on your toe mounds. If you want to make this spicy, you're reaching your tailbone back. You're hugging in the core. You're sinking down nice and low here, but still making sure your knees are over the ankles. Nice work, keep it going. Eight more here. Try not to let the weights just swing. Want to move with purpose and intention here. We're going to use our chair in four, three, two. Working left leg first, next one. Using your weights is your turbo option, holding them like candle six. All right, but going into tiptoe work. So you're going to come on your toes, and then from here, relax your shoulders down your back. You're going to push your booty back and then zip up your abs. So reach the tailbone back. Pull abs up and in. Sink and lift. Okay, stay with it. Drop down, pull lift. All right, sink, lift. Extend out of your kneecaps at the top. Finding your tallest self here. We're thinking about length. Okay, you can use one weight here if you want. Adding on a bicep curl if you want. Eight more here. Seven. Six. You got five, four. We're gonna hold in the pulse. Let's pick it up for the last one. Full pulse. All right, reach the tailbone back. Hug the core and keep that chest right. Knees staying over the ankle. Little tiny dip, okay? It's like you're sitting through a chair. You can't quite reach it. You don't wanna push your knees forward. You wanna hug that core and keep your chest right. Yes, you're killing this. Stay with me. We're right, we're right there with you. You're not alone. All right, I want you to do eight more pumps here. Keep pulsing down. And then we're now going to add on. As you pulse, I want you to shimmy your hips left, right. Ooh, this is juicy booty work. Okay, left, right. Hugging the core. Left, right. Hips swing. So you're just bringing the hips side to side as you pulse them. Come on. Get a little lower here. Eight more. We got seven. Six. I'm right there with you. Five. Almost there for four, three, two, and one. Ooh, hold. Now bring your shoulders over your hips. Nice. Now you're going to hinge forward, bring your hips towards your tabletop or waist high surface, and find a little tiny pulse down. So you're on your toe mounds, you're hugging your core in, you're keeping that chest right, and you're just finding a little tiny pulse, feeling this in the front of the quads now. All right, in eight, we're gonna bring our shoulders back over our hips, and we're gonna extend our left leg back behind us. We're gonna reach that toe and find a little tiny circle. Let's do that in two, one. Now shoulders coming over the hips. You can stay on your toe mounds if you want, bending your support and knee, reaching your left toe, extending out of the kneecap. Circle your toe. 
All right, so modify here. You're just gonna bring the weight into your heel. So keeping your knee bent, keeping your hips square, and you're gonna extend out of your back knee and just circle your toe. It's like you're tracing a dime with that big toe. So notice I'm not doing big movements here. They're really small, precise, and controlled. I want you to extend out of your back knee. Okay, you're not bending the knee. I want you to extend out of it. Reach, point that toe. In eight, we'll reverse the leg circle. Keep it going. We got four, three, two, one. Now reverse. Little tiny circle. You're doing great. Stay with me. Keep going. All right, so I'm going to talk to you guys about perseverance and having steadfastness, which you all have. A lot of times we forget about keeping up with the routine or maintaining things. I understand life gets busy, but just because you stop doing something for two days or a week doesn't mean like the next day is a new day. Just start over, okay? Don't beat yourself up. Just come back into it. Sometimes we gotta take that break, right? So that we come back stronger. I want you to go four more here. Like reverse, we're gonna pick up both weights. In two, one, drop that back foot down. Grabbing both weights here. Coming into a warrior two, so knees over the ankle, back leg extending out of it. Shoulders staying over the hips. All right, from here, you're gonna lean into the side knee, and then bring your arm back. So keeping your hips, your shoulders over the hips, and then as you lean, you're gonna lean to the left, pull. Keeping a bend through the elbows, and making sure that you're softening your neck. Okay, so we don't want this getting into the neck muscles. Working the side obliques here. This is ab work, guys. I think we did this in the last round, but it's too good not to take, to not put it back in. Eight more here. Two more. And one, hold a little. Arms press back. Thumbs, think about your thumbs pressing back. Getting nice and low in that warrior two. Little tap back with the thumbs. Abs in. Little pulse in the low body too, if you would like. Not necessary, but definitely there if you want it. Eight. You got seven. Six. You're right, I'm right there with you. Come on. Two. And one, hold it, both weights coming down. Extending arm up to the ceiling, both weights in the left hand. Dig your left shoulder down to the right. Sorry, dig your left shoulder down inside the quad. Back up. Nice and controlled, use your core here. Tight out. Eight, seven, six, you got five. I'm right there with you for four and three, two. Same thing, other side. Here we go. Knee over the ankle, shoulders staying over the hips. Back leg extending over the knee, reaching the toes. Tilt and to the right. Tight core here, guys. This is abs. You can always put a weight down if you need to. Make sure this isn't getting into your neck. Soften your neck muscles. Soften your jaw. Keep breathing. Come on. Pull. And lean. And pull. Come on. Right there with you. What do you call a naughty cat's favorite sport? What do you call a naughty cat's favorite sport? Rugby. Eight. That was kind of funny. All right, come on, push 
shift four. Get a little lower here if you want to make this juicier in the lower body. Keep this knee stacked over the ankle. And try not to push your hips forward here, okay? Keep them right in the center. Two and one. Now turn your weights down. Little tap back with the pinkies now. Ooh, I can take a breather. Okay, back into it. A lot of times we push our hips forward. I want you to bring your hips settled right in the center. Okay. Both weights coming in the right hand, left arm up to the ceiling. We'll drop that arm down and right in front of the quad. Four more here. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Knee. Drop down. Working side obliques here, guys. Come on. Reach. You really want these weights to come down nice in front of that shin. Drive up. about length here, out of the fingertips, out of that back leg. Think about the core doing this work. Eight more. We got it, come on, four. Three, dig deep, and one. Using that chair. One way here too if you want. Right leg work, ready? Let's get into it. Feet about a fist apart, coming into those full range. Squat on the toe mount. Drop the tailbone back. Pull squeeze, inner abs going up. On your toe mount, you can come flat foot here if you need to. Keep that chest right. Drop the tailbone down, nice and low, pull. Come right there with you. Come on. Sink, lift, speeding it up. Let's go. Eight, seven, six. I'm right there with you for five, four. We got three. Now we're pulsing low. Two, and hold, pulse. Don't death grip your chair. Okay, hey, this is just here to stabilize you. You see your abs get a little lower. Little tiny pulse. Little pulse. We'll bring our hips forward, shoulders over the hips. You got it. Come on. Eight, seven. Right there. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up. Hips coming forward by the knees. Little tiny pulse. So now you're trying to drive your hips up as high as you can, hinging back. Little tiny pulse. Back. Warming up the front of the quads now. You took care of the thighs and the glutes. Now it's the thighs, the quads, sorry. Eight, seven, we got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend the right leg circle. You can be on that toe mound if you want, or really group into that supporting foot. Extend out of the right kneecap, look back behind you. Is that kneecap pointed? Is that kneecap? Think about length out of your toe, more than the lift, more than the reach, more than circling it. Little tiny pulse in that circle. Circle, circle, tiny circle, come on. Draw the abs in, let your abs help you do this work. Eight more, let's go, seven. You got six. I'm so excited, my kids only have a few more weeks of school left. And we don't have anything planned, but I'm just excited to have them home. Feels like they've been in school forever. Three, two, and one. Now reverse. I think my oldest daughter, she'll be a sophomore, is going to get a job <laughs> this summer with her friends, um, which is good because she starts driving and we got to save up for a car. Oh my gosh, teenagers insurance though? Whoa, that's like another thing. It's so weird. It's so weird to have a teenager. Um, one, it makes me feel old. Two, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's a way better kid than I was at this age. <laughs> and 
I'm proud of her. Eight, seven. So we're reversing that toe circle. Keep pointing that toe, extend out of the knee. We got eight more reverses. Circle. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Okay, put your chair over, off to the side. You're still gonna need it. We got booty and ab work. But first, we're gonna go into wide second. Knees trapped in second toe. Bring your fist to face me. Pull your elbows back. We're gonna start adding a lower body pulse here in our body. And pick up your left heel, okay? All right, we're gonna get a little bit more lower body with the abs in the arms, okay? Four more here. Three, we got two. Let's add on another eight. This one bypass, here we go, let's go. Pick it up. Knuckles drive back, we got it. Two more. Okay, now hold it, keep that heel up. Lift up out of your kneecap and extend. Press your knuckles up to the ceiling, pull back down. Woo. Yep, pull. Eight to go. Seven. You guessed it. We got this on the other side. Four, three, two, and one. Pull it other side. Pull it up. Arms coming down. Little pulse up and out. Bend through the elbows, keeping that abs in. Chin off the chest. Little tiny press up and out. Get a little more. I'm filming this much later in the day because our one year warranty is up on this house, so they came in and fixed all like the settling of the walls. <laughs> For the guys that came in, I literally was wearing sweatpants and they started talking to me a bunch and I have, I got freaked out. I was like, I put a knife in my pocket. I was like, um, they're like asking me my name and if I knew my neighbors and <laughs> all these things. I'm like, yes, I'm best friends with my neighbors. In fact, one's coming over in like five minutes. <laughs> oh, stressful having strange people in your home. Four, three, two, one. Now hold up overhead again. Press up, extend out of your feet path. But anyways, it's good. We only had some, you know, settling in the walls and some of our doors weren't closing, so. That needed to be taken care of. As much as I don't like strange men in my home. <sighs> Thank God for my husband. I love that, you know, your home, it's up to you what kind of energy you want to put into it, how you want it to feel. I try to strive for my home to be a place of peacefulness and peace and comfort and safety. All right, eight more here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's go into the booty work with the abs, and then we're coming down to the mat for abs. Okay, so you're gonna bring left leg over to the right. Okay, so you're crossing your midline of the body. Your ears are in line with your biceps. You want to have a flat back here. No running in the back. Flat back. It's like someone could put a cup on it. If this doesn't feel good for you, you are gonna work higher up, okay? Keeping your shoulders over your hips, okay? So bring that left leg behind the right, and now you're gonna, so you're gonna just tap the toe and then lift back up. So still keeping that left toe to the right, okay? So tap and lift. So this is challenging, so again, feel free, work higher up, Keeping that leg crossing the midline of the body, extending out of your knee, top and lift. Okay, let's go. Pick it up. Eight more. We're not here long. Seven, six, five, four, three. I know it's challenging to keep it over there. You can do it. And one, hold. Now you're going to tap it back over there to the left still. Sorry, to the right. And then bring it up in line with your hip. So it's a tap to the right. Lift straight up in line with the in line with your hip. Tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Come on. 
we're not here long, we can do this. Use your core. Find that strength within you, you can do this, you're powerful. Think about how lifted and sculpted your legs are gonna be. Four, if you stay consistent with the workouts, it's not about the intensity, it's about staying consistent. Four, you got three, two, and one. I wish people would understand that. <laughs> All right, other side. See, if we weren't there long, but that little tiny work is doing so much in your body. Here we go, again. Right leg over to the left, tap, lift. I'm just brushing my foot up against the wall. All right, stay with me. I'm gonna do this without my chair. You guys keep going. Extend up the kneecap, tap, and lift. Flat back here, or you're gonna work higher up if you need to modify. It's not about how high you're lifting. If you're feeling this in your back, I want you to work higher up. And I want you to think about reaching your toe, about the length out of your kneecap, and your core working here. Okay? Eight more here, and then we're gonna bring it up in line with the hip. Four, we got three. Two. And one. Now bring it up in line with the hip. Tap over, lift in line with the hip. Cross the midline of the body. Right toe over to the left. Back up. Come on, let's go. Woo. Let's go. Find length. You can do this. You can also come on a course. You want a little bit more of an upper body burn. Just make sure you have a towel on your kneecap supporting me. You got eight more here. Let's do it. Seven, six, five, four. Is your leg shaking my quadris? Last one. Woo! You did it. Ab work. Here we go. Okay. You can use your weights here. You're going to come into boat pose, lifting up out of your sit bone. You're going to tap the toe down, lift. Other side. Tap and lift. So modify here. Right here. Keep your toes planted down. Lift, lift, back, down, up, up, down, down. Okay? You can use your hands to support yourself if you need to. Your turbo option is no hands. Look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> Just kidding. Layla's friends all think she's like country because she's from Colorado. They're like, Colorado? I hear that little accent there, Layla. And she's like, I am not country. <laughs> like, she, I don't know. They think she has an accent. So I'm like, we do not have an accent, do we? Do I have an accent? Let me know. <laughs> Four. Three. Oh, my court is burning, too. <laughs> and one. Hold it. Ooh. Extend the legs. Okay, extend the legs. You can come on the forms. Hold the knees. Extend out. Feet together. <laughs> Modify. Come flat on the back. Last move. We're going into stretches. Pull the knees in, extend. Four. Three. Actually, we have time for one more move. How about a roll up? Two. I'm not talking about a fruit one, guys. Come on. <sighs> Using those weights if you want. You can add on. Alternating leg lifts. Use that core to help you lift.
four, three, two, and one. Ooh, nice work, guys. All right, gonna use that chair for stretches today. Okay, so come up, grab your chair, new stretches. Even if we've, you know, we've been going for a while, but you still can invite them in. Um, yeah. 